What's up guys, Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Train Simulator 2016 yet again. And today we're gonna go ahead and do the Marseille to Avignon route here in France using the SNCF TGV duplex. And basically just says drive a high speed TGV service from Marseille to Avignon. And I'm sure I'm butchering both of those names. Anyway, shout out to uh, Jolly Josh 95 for a thousand of a thousand, Dark Age thousand of a thousand, BNSF 2001 for 992, Nil, good 785, and uh, Nikki 2255 for getting a zero. I think Nikki needs to go back and redo it. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, and, uh, and hopefully I do decent. I've been jacking up this route quite a bit lately. We'll start it off on this, and then we'll go to some American freight more than likely after this on the live stream. Let's go ahead and get into it. Some strong ass coffee, too. And if you guys don't already have me, make sure to add me on twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer. If you're watching this on YouTube, of course, if you're watching on Twitch, then obviously you're already with me. Just starting off, so I don't know if I have any viewers in here yet or not, but hopefully we'll get some here in a minute. And the question is do we have uh, sound? going to the stream we'll find out here in a second it says good morning driver today you'll be driving the express passenger service from here to avignon tgv open the doors to allow passengers on boards and you can clear to depart or then you are clear to depart and let's see if i hear anything hmm I'm not hearing anything per se. Maybe my headphones are off. Nope. Can you hear that? I may have to restart the scenario here real quick. So you guys can hear the sound because I cannot hear the sound for whatever reason. And I bet you would see his headphones. <laughs> is that Worst Asian Gamer? Is that your name? That's awesome if that's the case. Thank you for the help. All right, let me try this again, make sure I can hear some sound. There we go, much better. There's my headphones, unfortunately. I guess it's nighttime outside. Yeah, definitely nighttime. And we're at Marseille St. Charles heading on out. Going about 20 kilometers before picking up any more passengers before heading to Avignon to finish it. So now it's like probably a good time to get on the outside to see it weave through the tracks too. What up, train dude? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you following. Gotta love that sound, too. Scares the shit out of me every time. And one thing I do love about this train is the uh, interior. I mean, this just looks awesome right here. Pretty realistic, in my opinion. You know, I forgot to advertise on Steam that I'm I'm streaming. I should probably do that here in a little bit. Oh well. So 30 is going to be going up to 60 kilometers per hour, and then 110 here shortly. There 
go. Green light. Get up to 110 and 140 coming up. Let's go straight 100% with it. Shouldn't have any problems with traction, hopefully. Uh, 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 Is that Brazil? What's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. Appreciate you following. Take the sander off, huh? That'd be a good idea. And I'll do a couple train buys as we get going here. Hopefully, there's no signals up ahead. The scenario is only 30 minutes long, so I guess it really doesn't matter if I fail it. I can always go back and do it if I need to. <laughs> I worked hard and diligently on that follow sound, so I appreciate it. I think I've only got one donation so far since I changed the donation one. The donation one's pretty good, too. All right. I feel like I should know this route by now, and I really don't, unfortunately. I think I'm just going backwards compared to what I'm used to. How's everybody doing tonight, by the way? Welcome to chat. This will probably be up on YouTube if I get a thousand of a thousand or pretty close to it. If not, you know, whatever. You can say hi, YouTube, if you want to or not. Don't matter to me. I did get a new tattoo. I don't know if you guys can see it on my neck right there. Straight from Chuck E. Cheese. I think the uh, the name of the guy is a shy one, if I remember right, something like that. Got to a small tunnel and then a, a fairly long tunnel after this, I believe. Just a little concerned with this dip right here. Anyways, 12, 12 kilometers to go to the next uh, station. So I guess we're gonna make relatively quick work, like of this uh, particular route and we should be getting close to the TVG where it starts I don't know if it's after the next platform or not it's been a while since I played this route just gotta make sure I don't speed right here I shouldn't there we go and we can pick it up there we go TVM signaling is active so we're good for that and we're going to head uphill 100% on the power. Nice. Well, definitely appreciate you coming by, man. I haven't even played my Xbox One in Jesus. I don't even know how long. I don't think I've turned it on in over a month and a half or so. I guess since we're in the um, tunnel, might as well do the passenger view for a second. Not much to see otherwise. All right, so we're cleared to go 300 kilometers per hour. About um, eight kilometers to go to the station. I'm probably gonna get back in cab. I think it's gonna tell us to slow down here in a second, more than likely.
fact, it probably already gave us a heads up of that. They look at the brake down here, the brake pressure just in case. There we go. So we can get up to 270, it looks like, which we're fine on. Five kilometers to go to the station, heading towards the top of the crest. Man, the one thing I switched over to Time Warner recently from Dish Network. The only thing I don't have is uh, HBO. I'm kind of sad about that. So I've been wanting to watch the um, the Game of Thrones. There we go. Brake pressure is a little high, but I think we're going to be okay. Three kilometers to go to the station. Go ahead and release the brake real fast. Where's our ETA? Looks like we're about uh, 10 seconds behind on the ETA or so. I think we'll be okay. Problem is I don't know when to start braking on this thing. Six, seven, let me go ahead and start braking. You, know, you gotta make sure the brake pressure over here doesn't go any higher than about 4,500. Otherwise, you got some major issues. Definitely braking a lot quicker. I'm going to go and release real fast. We'll start braking again here in a second. There we go. Release again. Setting the brake a little bit lower this time. I think we'll be okay. Ita is a little bit late, but I don't think it's going to make, uh, make much of a difference, hopefully. I think we're good on the brake pressure. I'm just going to leave it there. It's stopping a little slower than what I wanted, but not a big deal. Go ahead and load unload the passengers here in just a second. There we go. Good show. Yeah, I haven't watched the new season, unfortunately. No, I got about 7,000 on YouTube. Not 150,000, I wish. I'd be doing this full time if I had 150,000 subscribers. What up, Playing Master Gaming? I appreciate it, man. Thank you for uh, hanging out for a bit. What up, Dark Age? Welcome back to the uh, channel. I want to read your comment, but I need to watch what I'm doing, too. All right, all passengers aboard proceed to Avignon TGV, which we're going to do. Release the brake pressure. Let's head on out. Put the uh, sander on, too, for a second. Yeah, how to manage the brake pressure. I know. This fucking route gets me every time you know that. In fact, I'm going to go straight 100 on this because we're running a little bit behind. In fact, since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and save it just in case. I think we're going to be good on the signaling, so I'm going to get in the exterior, do a couple train buys real fast. And Dark Age is the, uh, the master TGV duplex operator. If you guys don't know already, I'm definitely not. And you really can't see a whole lot. I think it's actually getting darker outside as opposed to lighter. I don't know if that's PM or what that is. Beautiful looking train though. Uh, I was talking to some guy on Steam earlier today. He was saying the Eurostar is a much better ride than the TGV though. I believe him. I was on the Eurostar. I loved that train. Super, super smooth and fast. Which I don't think this thing can be that far behind from it. <laughs> hey, I built my whole computer to run train sim, so I feel your pain, playing master. My old computer probably got about 10 frames per second on this. 
All right, let me get back inside. Oh, got the sander on. Still took it off. Man, I believe you. You definitely know this route. That's for damn sure. All right, ETA is back down to where it should be, which is good. Worried about this little dip coming up. Just want to watch my speed. Yeah, man, gaming computers, computers in general, if you're trying to play games like this, it's just an expensive task to keep up with it. Changing out RAM, motherboards, graphics cards. It's easier just to get an Xbox or a PS4 and be done with it. I feel like I could do this route HUDless more than likely. Some of the other ones probably not. Or other scenarios, I should say. dip before going back uphill. I've got 64 kilometers to go. It makes me a little nervous. I just don't want to jack anything up along the way. I do want to do a train by at this speed. It's hauling ass. That's crazy. Star Citizen. Hmm. I don't even know what game that is, to be honest with you. Get back inside so I can control the speed a little bit better. Challenge me to the scenario. With all cab systems working. Well, it depends on what scenario. This scenario, I'll challenge you all day long. I feel like I could push the the, uh, the limit on this one. And how do we like pick a winner by, based off the time or what? And about the speed, I think. I'm losing speed, never mind. I <laughs> smell smoke. Star Citizen, huh? I'm going to look that up when I get off of here. Uh, nothing like cold coffee. Ugh. Definitely keep me going and awake, though, that's for sure. ETA is running a few seconds behind. Not a whole lot to see at night, is there? And let's be able to go up to 320 kilometers here shortly. I feel like I'd have to mark down time or the time that the actual speed changes to be able to do this HUD list. I'm not saying it's not possible. I did that on uh, London to Faversham without writing anything down and did pretty well. And the only good thing about this train doing HUD list is you can actually see how you're braking with this air pressure gauge right there, which I don't remember that on the London to Faversham route, if you could actually see that or not.
Oh man, that No Man's Sky looks amazing. What's that game that just came out today? Like, um, was it Overwatch? Something like that. It looks like a new Borderlands. Looked pretty cool. I haven't picked it up yet. I'm going to wait till the, the price goes down a little bit on it before buying into it. There you go. You can see some scenery at least out there. I don't speed right here for any reason. And I think it's about to. Let's turn the brake on just a little bit. Kind of like Team Fortress, yeah. Or is that, okay, I'm thinking of the other one. What's the other one that just came out, like, today? Is that Overwatch or something else? PC Sim game? Hmm. Star Citizen, huh? Is it actually out yet, or is it in, like, alpha stage, or what? I need to do less talking, more uh, speeding up. That's what I needed to do. 37 kilometers out, you can tell we're making pretty good time, going 320 kilometers per hour. High speed or express scenario, Avignon to Marseille, high speed means stopping at the Providence Express means no stop there, straight to... Okay. So my question to you, Dark Age, is the 320 kilometers that it's saying right now, can't you do like 10 or 15 kilometers over that and be fine or not? Or do you have to keep it under 320 to avoid speeding? But I'll accept that challenge if that's what you're asking. Overwatch is still an alpha. Okay. Oh, it's Overwatch. Overwatch came out, but Star Citizen's in alpha? I think that's what you're saying, right? I'm trying to juggle doing 10 things at once. I apologize. ETA's looking pretty good still, which what I want. Less than 30 kilometers to go now. It's a Kickstarter crowdfunded game and has the biggest budget ever for its kind. Right now it has two servers, public, which is for everyone, PTU is for certain very active backers, and a test, test platform for ironing bugs out. Huh. Alright. And is it like a, like a third person, first person RPG? Is it, um, I mean, what would you compare it to? I guess it's the real question. I want to look this up now. You got me wanting to play Star Citizen only on stream. That's what you got me wanting to do. I'm going to go ahead and save it just in case. We're 22 kilometers to go. That says here just a second. TVM at high speed. 
you can be at max 15 kilometers per hour above the indicated speed if it's more than that the brakes apply so right now I could be doing 335 is that correct or not Eighteen kilometers to go. And the other games first person mostly, space and planetary sandbox also has third person, but HUD will only show on first person. Huh. That sounds pretty cool. I mean would you compare it to like Mass Effect with like an economy and stuff all around it or I guess is, it, is there any action in it at all or is it mainly just like trading and resources and things like that? Can you do mining? I want to know all sorts of things. I'm going to keep asking questions all night long. ETA is right on time, which is good. And let's just hope I don't jack up coming into the last station. Oh, it's only slowing down where you can do it. Okay, I get what you're saying. Looks like um, 12 kilometers out, the signaling is changing as of right now. Let me look at the brake pressure down here just in case. There we go. We're under 270, less than 10 kilometers to go. ETA is looking all right. It's a few seconds behind, but not a big deal. Now it says I can do up to 300. Is that true? I feel like that's going to trick me, huh? It says 300. I guess I can go faster. I don't know. Seems kind of strange, doesn't it? I feel like this is a bad idea to speed up right now. There we go. Back down to 270, it looks like. About five and a half kilometers to go. I'm going to stay in cab just so I don't mess this up. ETA is 10 seconds behind the arrival time. Let me get down to 2.30. There we go. And coming into the platform, it looks like less than two kilometers to go. This is going to be the last tunnel right here. I think we can pretty much take our time into the last platform here without having to worry about speeding. Not speeding, but uh, being late. Excuse me. Can't talk today. I 
All right. Let's go ahead and let it stop now. I think we're good on the braking. Unload passengers, and hopefully that's a thousand of a thousand. We'll find out here in just a second. Oh, 170 because you're switching tracks. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like I could, I could definitely drive that particular route way harder than what I just did. There you go, great run driver. The passengers have fully, I got a timeliness, I got a penalty somehow. The passengers have fully alighted. Now we've reached Avignon TGV. Let's review your performance. 999 out of 1,000, come on. Really? So now I'm mad because Dark Age is above me, and he's he's watching me right now too. On top of it, <laughs> I got two achievements at least. I don't know what they were, so I guess I was what three seconds late. Give me one point penalty, which doesn't make any sense because I was actually on time within the minute. Yeah, you would laugh. Laugh it up, Dark Age. Laugh it up. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure to follow me again at twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer. If you're watching me on Twitch, make sure you have me on YouTube, obviously youtube.com slash the middle age gamer. I was hoping that's a thousand of a thousand, but I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube. 999 out of a thousand. You can see Dark Age laughing at me right now, and you can see him on, on the stream laughing at me too, you asshole. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and see what we're going to do next, I guess.